Hi, my name is Esther and I am back in this second video about registration to show you how to register for your classes. Once my time ticket opens, I can go to the registration screen and select register for classes followed by selecting the term. I then have the option to search for classes manually as I did when making my plan or I can select the plans tab to select from my plan. This is the easiest option. Once I have selected the plans tab, I can select view sections next to the course I want to register for. I will be able to see if a section is full or if it conflicts with something else I've already selected. Let's first select a section of ACC 201. Once I find the section I like, I can click the Add button. Let's add section 01. I now see that section 01 is pending on my schedule and is gray on my weekly schedule grid. I am not registered yet though. I now have the option to press Submit to register for this class or to continue building my schedule first. I am going to continue building my schedule first before submitting. Let's now click Return to Plan to keep adding sections. Now I am going to look for sections of ENG 101. Notice that I cannot select 06 because it conflicts with the section of ACC 201 that I've already added to my schedule. Let's select section 05 instead. Once I have selected a section for every course on my plan, I can click the Submit button at the bottom to submit my registration. You will notice that the status for each section now says Registered, and the sections now have a color on my weekly grid. It is important to keep in mind that I'm not registered for a section unless the status is green and says Registered. If I cannot be registered for a section I chose, I will receive an error message for that section and will have to select Remove. And press Submit again to remove that section and then select something else. I hope you have enjoyed watching me select classes using self-service. If you have any questions or need help, please visit the registrar's office once your time ticket opens and they will be happy to help you. You can also reference the instructions and FAQ page.